Apple just ended their big fall event where they unveiled new iPhones, a new Apple TV, and a bigger iPad. I'm here with Fortune's Andrew Nuska. Andrew, what was your favorite part of the event? Uh, you know, I gotta say, the, the, the large iPad is really fascinating to me. I mean, you know, it, it made it very clear that this was gonna be a business tool. I mean, we, we see here uh, at headquarters, uh, executives walking around all the time using tablets. And this is really like, you know, there's a lot of computing power they're packing into it with new things like a pencil. Right, and there's a keyboard too, right? Yeah, absolutely. So it looks kind of like the Microsoft Surface. What makes it different? Yeah, I mean, well, it's got a big Apple on it for one, a big sure. Apple logo. But I mean, you know, they're trying to do a lot of interesting things. The operating system has always lent itself to kind of touch-based uh, computing. And, and of course, Apple isn't kind of hindered by having a desktop OS on its mobile devices. And that's kind of an interesting distinction. What was your favorite part? You know, I'm really interested in the new Apple TV. I think it's a nice upgrade to a thing that hasn't been updated in a long time. The gaming aspects are nice. You're looks really good and I love the fact that I can sit down and find the movies and the shows that I want to watch whether it's on Hulu or Netflix it just helps me sort through that whole mess of stuff. Absolutely. I was also interested in this 3D touch technology. Did you see it? Yeah, on the new iPhone. What's really interesting is kind of the integration of hardware and software. And, you know, basically this is manifesting itself in, what do they call it, like pop and right. peak. Exactly, and yeah. basically you touch on something and you can kind of get a little preview of what's going on in an app. And, you know, I mean, on our modern phones, we're tapping, tapping into tapping folders, tapping this, tapping that. And it's really nice to just get a peek without going the whole... Yeah, it's interesting. You start to think when you're using your smartphone, like how many other inputs can I can they put into a device like this? How else can I interact with this? And suddenly, oh right, harder pressing. Like that gives me new features. It's really nice. And did you like the new uh, uh, what was it? The new bands or something on the yeah, watch? Yeah, I think you know new bands are nice. You know, I like uh, the variety and whatnot. You're in the market for Hermes. I can get a new band. Yeah, exactly. I can get a new band. Definitely. And we can't forget the uh, the new colors, right? So rose gold is the newest color of of, of most of their hardware. It's right. it's on the phone. It's on the watch as well. I, it should be interesting to see if people actually want to buy what amounts to pink. Right, it's definitely pink. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it for Apple's fall event. Stay tuned to time.com and fortune.com for more coverage. Andrew, thanks for joining me. Thank you.